Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Guest of Honour, Ms. Gan Xiao Huang, Minister of State, Minister of Education and Ministry of Manpower. Mr. Bill Chang, Chairman, Board of Trustees, SIT. Professor Chia Ki Chang, President, SIT. Members, Board of Trustees, SIT, Senior Management and Faculty Members, SIT, Donors, Industry Partners, Distinguished Guests, Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Welcome to Graduation 2023. <laughs> Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Professor Chua Ki Chang, President, SIT, will now deliver the opening address. Professor Chua, please. Minister of State. Ministry of Education and Ministry of Manpower, Ms. Gan Xiao Huang, Chairman of the SIT Board of Trustees, Mr. Bill Cheng, Members of the SIT Board of Trustees, Industry Partners, Colleagues, Parents, Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen. Very good morning and welcome 
to this morning's graduation ceremony for SIT's class of 2023. It is my privilege to address you on this momentous occasion. And let me begin by extending on behalf of the university our heartiest congratulations to all of you on reaching this significant milestone today. Allow me also to convey our sincere appreciation to MOS Gan, who is gracing this ceremony as our guest of honour. We have over 2,200 graduates in the class of 2023 being conferred this year. You are among the graduates from 36 degree programmes, including the pioneer cohorts for the Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science with Honours in Didactics and Nutrition, and Bachelor of Science with Honours in Digital Communication and Integrated Media. As a University of Applied Learning, SIT uses active learning pedagogies and authentic learning environments to prepare you for a lifetime of meaningful careers. Through close partnerships with industry, we have provided you with opportunities to apply the knowledge learned in SIT to solving real-world problems. The ability to formulate and deploy solutions to real-world problems will enable you to hit the ground running when you start work. Beyond disciplinary knowledge, SIT's holistic education has also helped you to de develop the transferable skills that you will need to be effective at work. With the advent of new technologies such as generative AI, such transferable or human skills will become increasingly more important, not just as you enter the workforce, but as you progress in your careers in the years ahead. It is gratifying that the industry values you and the holistic SIT education that you have received. This is evident from the results of the Graduate Employment Survey for the class of 2022, which was recently concluded and reported in the media. We will conduct a similar survey for the class of 2023 next year. In the meantime, I'm happy to share that based on our preliminary survey, more than half of your cohort has already secured employment before graduation. Congratulations and well done, class of 2023. Now, for several years, we have realised that it is not possible to front-load all the knowledge and skills that you will need for your lifetime of careers within the three or four years you are with us on campus. The world of work is increasingly being disrupted by the rapid advances in technologies, geopolitics and the effects of climate change. To be equipped for the journey ahead, you will need to regularly reskill and upskill to gain new knowledge and skills to surmount the disruptions that you will face. <coughs> Excuse me. As your alma mater, SIT is committed to supporting you in your journey of continual or lifelong learning. I'm therefore pleased to announce SIT's new Learn for Life initiative, which aims to support and encourage all our alumni to regularly upskill and reskill in response to new technological, business or environmental disruptions. With Learn for Life, the university will offer every alumnus a free continuing education and training module worth up to $3,500 today, once every five years, starting from 1st April 2024. Learn for Life will benefit all 18,000 of our current alumni since SIT's founding in 2009 and all future alumni. Additionally, to support and encourage upskilling, we will simplify the admissions process for all SIT alumni who return to read postgraduate degree programs at the university. As alumni, you had already gained admission to your first degree programs, and we know you well. 
So, as long as you satisfy the prerequisites of the program you wish to read, you will not be required to submit all your application information once again, as you did when you were a first-time applicant to SIT. So, yes, this is yet another benefit of being a citizen, spelled with an S. Another way to support our alumni in their upskilling is for SIT to continue to grow our offerings of postgraduate degree programs. Naturally, this will be developed to meet the evolving demands of industry. We will be launching a new Master of Health Sciences program in academic year 2024. This was designed in close collaboration with our national healthcare clusters, SingHealth and National Healthcare Group. Through this program, healthcare professionals can upskill in specialisations such as adult and geriatric rehabilitation, musculoskeletal physiotherapy, organ transplant nursing, rehabilitation nursing, and medical sonography, which are aimed at addressing the needs of Singapore's ageing population and the demands of the fast-evolving healthcare industry. We have also strengthened our existing postgraduate degree offerings with a specialization in innovation development in our industrial doctorate and industrial master's programs. To be designed and offered in collaboration with the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, or SMART for short, the specialization offers learners the opportunity to hone their skills to develop commercializable innovations which are necessary for enterprises, for our enterprises to move up the innovation value chain to remain competitive. Learners in this specialization will be mentored by SMART and SIT faculty who are leaders in innovation practice and experts in their respective fields. Next year, we will be celebrating our 10th anniversary as an autonomous university. SIT has come a long way since 2014 and is already the autonomous university with the third largest undergraduate student intake after NUS and NTU. We will begin our move to our new campus in Pongo next year. Our Pongo campus offers many new opportunities for SIT to further expand and excel in our applied learning, research and innovation activities, as it will be the first time all of SIT will be together in one physical location and with industry and the Pongo community right at our doorstep. Even though you have technically graduated from your, with your conferment this week, remember that once a citizen, always a citizen. So class of 2023, come back often to visit, reskill or upskill and stay engaged with the SIT family. To conclude, I wish you all the very best as you go forth to make good use of your knowledge and skills to create a meaningful impact on society. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023. Enjoy your day. Thank you, Professor Chua. Our guest of honour this morning is Ms. Gan Xiao Huang, Minister of State, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Manpower. Ms. Gan will now deliver the graduation address. Ms. Gan, please. Chairman, Board of Trustees of SIT, Mr. Bill Chang, President of SIT, Professor Cha Ki Chang, faculty, staff, Parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to all of you. It must be a really proud moment for the parents. I have three daughters, the eldest is 20 years old. She's also in university. And as a mother, I'm eagerly waiting for her graduation. So for the mothers and the fathers, you know, who are here today, um, it's been a long journey for the parents. I want to congratulate all the parents in this theater. To the graduates, it is my privilege to join you in celebrating this special moment in your life. My heartiest congratulations to all of you, 
And as we celebrate this milestone together, I'd like to pose two questions for the graduates to ponder upon. First, in today's ever-changing landscape, how can Singapore and our workers stay relevant and competitive? We see many industry sectors in Singapore and around the world undergoing significant shifts. As companies transform and new business models emerge, work processes and the skills required will also need to evolve. With technology shortening the half-life of skills, it is critical for both businesses and employees to transform to stay ahead and be competitive. For our SIT graduates, the concept of applied learning is no stranger to you. Being part of Singapore's first university of applied learning, you have participated in this unique integrated work-study program, IWSP, and thrive on a model of learning which combines institution-based learning with structured on-the-job training. The IWSP has been a successful program in Singapore. Through the IWSP, students have been exposed to real-life work and problem-solving, contributing to actual outcomes in various fields. One in two SIT graduates have also received job offers from their IWSP companies before graduation. That speaks volumes of the quality of our students in this program. Well, take for example, Pa Yen Er. You know, where are you? Yen Er. She's ah, over there. Hi, Yen Er. A graduate from the pioneering batch of digital communications and integrated media. As a field marketing intern at Palo Alto Networks, Yena managed high-profile events that gave her a front row seat to the full project life cycle. From developing meaningful event agendas to curating content for various audiences, the dynamic and challenging working environment honed Yena's project management skills. In fact, she held her own in the prestigious marketing events awards competition and led her team in developing marketing materials that clinched not one but two prestigious Best Event Team Awards. An impressive feat for an intern. Well done, Yena. <clears throat> Likewise, Darren Lu. Darren, where are you? Darren. Hi, Darren. Darren's a graduate from the second batch of Air Transport Management. He saw his eight-month-long IWSP stint with Changi Airport Group as an invaluable learning opportunity. As a product management trainee, Darren developed an online portal for airline passengers to calculate their carbon footprint and offset it via carbon credits from environmentally sustainable projects. This allowed Darren to translate his classroom knowledge like carbon offsetting and aviation carbon emissions into practice. Darren will soon join Changi Airport Group's Airport Operations Planning Department as a senior associate. Congratulations, Darren. <clears throat> I'm sure many of you here will have similar experiences as Yena and Darren. And I look forward to hearing your contributions towards enhancing the industries that are vital to Singapore's growth. In line with the spirit of lifelong learning, I also encourage you to continue upskilling and reskilling throughout your career. Take advantage of the wide variety of bite-sized continuing education and training courses that SIT has to offer through the Sitzland portal to improve your workplace competencies. And as Prof Chua mentioned earlier, the new Learn for Life initiative will make lifelong learning even more accessible for SIT alumni. I hope this will motivate you to take the first step in your lifelong learning journey. My second question to the graduates today is, given your skill sets and talent, how can you give back to the community? After all, we are not defined by what we achieve for ourselves, but what we give back to the community. Let me share the story of Wisely Tan. Wisely is a graduate from the Bachelor of Accountancy Despite having limited knowledge about accountancy when he first enrolled, wisely put in extra effort to catch up with his peers who had an accountancy diploma. 
He was placed on the SIT Provost list in 2020 and recently secured a position as an international tax advisor at one of the big four accounting firms. Many of you may also know Wisely as an avid runner who represented SIT in national track and field competitions. As a professional athlete, Wisely had to cope with frequent sporting injuries. Some of the more serious ones caused him to undergo multiple surgeries. But after months of rehabilitation, Wisely came back stronger and attained gold medals in the Institute Varsity Polytechnic Track and Fields Championships in 2021 and 2022. He applies his can-do spirit to his role in leading SIT's track and field team and coaching his teammates, helping some of them overcome their challenges to succeed in competitions as one team SIT. Like Wisely, you can inspire hope in others by giving back and adding value to the community. I encourage you to stay connected with the SIT family and help the SIT community flourish even after you graduate. One such way is to become a mentor to your juniors through the Industry Mentorship Program, where students are paired with industry mentors to help develop their career pathways and share industry-specific experiences. I'm a believer in mentorship, and even after I graduated from university, I continue to be a mentor to young women who are aspiring and looking for their first few careers. Today, SIT's mentorship program has over 200 industry mentors. Sharing experiences with fellow citizens, citizens with S, will guide them in making informed choices regarding their potential careers and life decisions. Now, let me now once again congratulate all of you on your achievements and graduation. I hope that you will strive to stay relevant and competitive and be a source of inspiration to those around you. Pay it forward and contribute to the community in your own ways, no matter how big or small. Sometimes just being kind and lending a listening ear makes a difference. Finally, don't be afraid to challenge yourselves and seize new opportunities that come your way. Continue seeking improvements and be better tomorrow than you are today. The future is yours, after all, to create, and I wish you all the best in your journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gunn. Mr. Bill Chang, Chairman, Board of Trustees, SIT, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Chairman, please. May I present the graduates of whom the following degrees have earlier been conferred. Bachelor of Science in Digital Communications and Integrated Media. Yu Han Ning, Hannah. Audrey Chan Li Yi. <clears throat> Belinda Wong. Brandon Pam. Charity Ting Ming En. Charmaine Cole.
Cheng Rui. Siobhan Law Yuan Yi. Shane Isabella Ramchandrani. Chua Sokhui Stella. Emily I. Lee Fang. <clears throat> Fu Yi Chang. <clears throat> Gavin Chan Chek Bing. Gerald Chong Sheng Yang. <clears throat> Go Chen Rui. Go Tianhui Lino. <clears throat> Hermenda Sun. Jinny Heng. <clears throat> Jermaine Ng. <clears throat> Kimberly Lee. Lai Kit Ying. <clears throat> Lam Wan Ting Joycelyn. <clears throat> Lim Gek Ting Vanessa. Low Ri Rong. <laughs> Maria Kala Kirsten Malicio Panga Niban. Marianne Govin. <clears throat> Megan Ng.
Melsha Lo Yi Lin. Mira Isabella Asman. Mitchell Ng Liang An. Miza Karina Zaki. Natalie Wong Yi Yin. <laughs> Natalie Yi Chia Hui. <laughs> Ng Yi Chun. Ng Jing Chun. Ne Amira Binti Ahmad Zamil. Ne Diana Binti Muhammad Nasser. Ne Iqwa Nina Binti Zaino. Ne Kistina Binti Abdul Shukor. Ne Patricia Binti Surya Dama. Nuru Shainda Binti Tumadi. <laughs> Opa Danielle Angeline Suba and <laughs> Pao Sing Yang Glenna. Pei Sin Min. <laughs> Pua Yan Er. <laughs> Pristine Che. Rachel Teo Ro Yun. <laughs> Rael Daniel Bin Rahmat. <laughs> Sarah Wee Hui Min.
Sean Lu Boon Wee. Tai Sin Yi Cindy. Tammy Ko Yu Sin. Thaddeus John Low. Theodora Tan Li Shan. Vanessa Lim Xiao Shi. Wang Jiating. Bachelor of Accountancy. Recipient of the Ni An Kong Si Gold Medal for All-Round Student Excellence at SIT and the most outstanding graduating student across all programs with outstanding academic results and who has demonstrated leadership qualities and made significant contributions beyond academic studies to SIT and the community and the Baker Tilly Outstanding Student Award in Accountancy. Avia Lin Tzu An. <clears throat> Recipient of the EY Outstanding Student Award in IWSP, and CPA Australia Book Prize in Transfer Pricing, Lam Chen Ming. <clears throat> Recipient of the Deloitte and Touche Book Prize in Advanced Taxation, Quack Chi Heng. Adeline Pang Chia En. Adeline Mastura Binti Rusli. Alina Fong Yu Chi. Elton Ko Yi Rui. Elvin Tan Wei Han. Amanda Poon Hui Ru. Amos Ku Yong Jun. <clears throat> Ang Tzu Ning. <clears throat> Ang Del Rina Clarista.
Anupriya Dotta Subramaniam. Audrey Yo Tia Min. Meditic Ng Chin Wu. Bryce Chu Chin Wei. Cheryl Lee Chi En. Cha Wei Da Clement. <coughs> Chong Sheng Hua. <coughs> Chong Wei Jian. Chong Sing Ying. Christy Ong Ying Chi. Chua Bing Ren. Chua Wen Chiang. Chua Yun Chuang Simon. Dong Chun Jie. Divya, daughter of Gopalan. <clears throat> Elmi Christine Surani Binti Aman. <clears throat> Farah Fazana Binti Herman Sianipa. Felicia Chiu Singing. <clears throat> Go Pei Wen, Gladdy. <clears throat> Go Ti Long. Go CY. <clears throat> ha Simran Jaral, daughter of Raj Kumar. <clears throat> Hazel Bay Shumin. Heng Su Ying. <clears throat> Ho Jia Xuan, Carissa. <clears throat> Ho
Ho Kai Yin, Steffi. Ho Shu Rui. Ho Zi Yan. Ifana Diana Binti Batia. Joey Chan Hui Fen. Joshua Tio Weiler. Joyce Ku Sing Ying. Kenneth Low, <clears throat> Kevin Lee, <clears throat> Ko King Kiat Marcus. Ko Rui Yi. Ko Xiao Yin. Ko Hui Wen, Ivy. Kong Jing Long. Ku Shemin. Kwang Boon Kai. Kwong Si Min. Lai Wai Yin. Lai Yen Ting. Lam En Sin. Li Mei Yi, Gladys. Leroy Li Chun Ri. Leslie Go Chun Lin. Liao Jia Xuan. Liu Zi Wei.
林芳英 Joy。Lim Hui Shu, Rebecca. <coughs> Lim Jia Ti. <coughs> Lim Jing Yi. 林世杰 ，Jonathan。林维清 ，Nikki。林新杰。林心怡，林依婷，林心霞。罗家佑，陆志英，陆家明 ，Tiffany。卢伟英，陆考健，罗春浩 ，Felix。Lo Jin Ri, Melissa. Lo Pei Yu. Mabel Wang Si Ti. Malcolm Tan, Matilda Lim Siok Ching, Megan Heng Chi Ting. Megan Lim Yang Min, Michelle Go Li Ying, Muhammad Shafiq Bin Ramli.
Monica Hong Su Wen. Muhammad Daniel bin Offman. <laughs> Muhammad Hazru bin Harun. <laughs> Muhammad Ersiat Fahan bin Jasni. Nathaniel Joshua Liao Yu An. <laughs> Nico Chan Tzu Ying. <laughs> Nicolette Ng Yu Xuan. Ne Afrani binti Harun. <coughs> ne Liana binti Muhammad Idol. <coughs> Nuru Murni binti Kamsani. On Jing Fu <laughs> On Chun Chie Jonathan <laughs> On Wheeler Alex. Ong Sing Ying Si Un Tui Ling Un Hui Shan Pang Chu Yin Pang Guan Lin Pun Ting Ting Po Hui Min Po Xiao Hui Pang Ping Yuan Rico Yo Riti Ryan Ong Tzu En S. Ashwini
Sam Martinez Lok. Xia Cheng Yin Felice. Si Sin Yi, Alyssa. Sito Si Min. Xiao Wei Xian. Xiao Yue Xuan. Charlene Li Li Ting. Sean Neal. Shi Dawson. Sheldon Chu Yong Sen. Xia Kai Fei. Sim Tin Wei, Malcolm. Sibyl Tan Chi En. T. Prabhu. Tammy Wong Ting Sin. Tan Chang Jun, Melvin. Tan Ding Yang. Tan Hui Shan. Tan Jia Li. Tan Chun Yi. Tan Kin Yuan. Tan Liang Hong wisely. Tan Su Kim, Chen Su Chin. Tan Tik En, Delvin. Tan Yen En. Tan Yen Li. Tan Yi Pei.
Tang Lee. Tio Tian Sen. Tiffany Lin Li Ying. Uma Megaswari, daughter of Thiru Navakarasu. Vikal V. Sanwani. Vivian Tan Su Ping. Wilson To Wei Ping. Wong Hui Ying. Wang Mei Ling. <coughs> Zhen Hia Fu Wen Fu Yu. <coughs> Zoe Ng Zi Wei. Bachelor of Science in Air Transport Management, Afik Shazwan bin Jasni. <laughs> Ahmad Zafir bin Qasim. <laughs> Aloysius Tio Shin Kai. Baxter O. Wei Tian. Chan Ying En Dilis. Chiu Yi Ming. Koval Chow. Darren Go Wei Chi. Darren Lu Ri Xiang. Douglas Tan Kwan Rong. <laughs> Esther Aprilia Mori. <laughs> Farisha Binti Muhammad Yunus. Go Pei Ying, Rachel. Go Wei Long. Hu <laughs> Ying Ki. Iris Sim Shu Yi. Jerry Lai Tia Chun.
Jonas Tan Bing Xu. Kevin Ling Kai Wen. <laughs> Kairuna Izati Binti Jamil. <laughs> Kira Pua Shu Yi. Li Tia Xuan, Liao Jia Cheng, Lim Sherman. Lim Shunwei Brian. Lim Tian Li. Lim Sin Ru. Liao Yuxun, Aeneas. <laughs> Lo Ka Wai. <laughs> Muhammad Afan Shah bin Samsuri. Muhammad Fayez bin Kamar Rudin. <laughs> Muhammad Fatwa Rafi bin Muhammad Ridwan. <laughs> Mustafa bin Abdul Jalil. Neka Jamantiza Castillo. <laughs> Ng Ruting, Sean. <laughs> Ng Wini. Ng Xue Zi, Felicia. <laughs> Nuru Hazira Binti Ismail. <laughs> Ong Xin Yin, Perlin. Bo Liu Ting. <laughs> Michelle Pua. <laughs> Sean Fu Shan Long. Sim Chi Kiet. Sim Tia Tia Ryan. Tan Shi Tia.
单缺一。单于炫，单志炫，天辉玲。Day one T Vicky Dio Le Sin Dinesh Kanan, son of Raja Gopal. Theo Zhong Wei, Tong Wan Chin Felicia, Wee Lin Hui. Wong Chu En, Carissa. <laughs> Wong Zhu Xin. <laughs> Xi Yu Lin. Yo Pei Shan Yo Ting Ting Yo Wei Yang Zain Tan Hui Ying This concludes the presentation of graduates. Thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of our donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students and graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for the ceremony is Ms. Miza Karina Zaki. Miza will now deliver the valedictorian speech. Distinguished guests of honour, Ms. Gansha Huang, Minister of State, Ministry of Education and Ministry of Manpower, Mr. Bill Cheng, Chairman of the SIT Board of Trustees, Professor Chua Ki Cheng, SIT President, members of the SIT Board of Trustees, senior management, esteemed faculty members, cherished families and friends, and my fellow graduates. A warm and gracious morning to all, and a heartfelt thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion. My name is Miza Kairina, and I'm honored to represent the inaugural cohort of Singapore Institute of Technology's Digital Communications and Integrated Media Program. To the graduating class, congratulations. We made it. Today signifies a remarkable achievement in our journey here at SIT. To our dedicated professors, 
I would like to express appreciation for your unwavering guidance, invaluable lessons, and infinite patience in addressing our ceaseless questions. Additionally, I want to express my deepest gratitude to my family, whose support has been pivotal in my journey. For that, I am genuinely grateful. A wise cowboy once encouraged us to reach for the sky. These words, spoken by Woody in Toy Story, resonated with me throughout my journey here at SIT. When we first embarked on an academic journey, we aimed high with success in our sights. However, as many of us have learned, the path to success is really smooth. From these experiences, I would like to share three invaluable lessons I've drawn from the movie. The first lesson that Toy Story 3 taught me is the incredible power of resilience. The toy's resilience shines through in the face of adversity, just as it does in us. I'm sure my classmates can attest that our journey hasn't been an easy ride. As pioneers of this new program, our journey began amidst the uncertainties of the COVID-19 pandemic. From our initial day zero held on Zoom, to wearing masks during physical lessons, maintaining small groups and social distancing, we faced a unique set of challenges. But despite everything we've been through, we demonstrated resilience and determination, just like how Woody and his friends never gave up on returning to their beloved owner, Andy. Moreover, through every challenge we faced, there lies an opportunity for growth. Our struggles have not been in vain. They have carved a path for the future cohorts who will walk in our footsteps. Remember, setbacks are temporary. The lessons we've learned will propel us forward and help us navigate the path ahead. Toy Story 3 also illustrates the significance of friendship, much like the connections we've cultivated here at SIT. These bonds aren't just social constructs. They have been our lifelines, our pillars of strength during moments of adversity. As I faced the trials and tribulations of academic life, it was these very friendships that carried me through. The late night heart-to-heart -heart talks where we shared our fears, dreams, and laughter became the glue that held us together. To those of you whom I've shared these experiences with, I want to emphasize, just as the iconic song goes that, you've got a friend in me. <laughs> this phrase is a mere nostalgia. It's a reminder that the bonds we formed are enduring and everlasting. Just as Woody and Buzz show unwavering loyalty to each other, our friendships forged in these halls are precious. As we stand on the cusp of a new chapter, let's cherish these connections and carry them with us, hopefully to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Lastly, Toy Story 3 teaches us the importance of having the courage to let go and embrace change. The film portrays the bittersweet truths of growing up, and that change is inevitable and a natural part of life. I must admit, I still struggle with embracing change. I've never been adept at navigating it, and the prospect of transitioning to the working world does feel quite daunting. However, I find comfort in Andy's heartwarming act of passing his toys to Bonnie, where we see the beauty of letting go. Andy moves forward without forsaking his past, recognizing how his toys and childhood memories have uniquely prepared him for adulthood. Likewise, our time at SIT has been a growth journey, a preparation for the changes that await us beyond these walls. Just as Woody, Buzz, and their friends found new adventures beyond the confines of Andy's room, we too will encounter fresh opportunities as we step into the world. Instead of fearing change, let us all embrace it. With the fearless spirit of a cowboy and the curiosity of a space ranger, knowing that our past experiences have uniquely prepared us for whatever the future holds. Therefore, as we stand here today, let us carry with us the lessons of resilience, the value of friendship, and the courage to let go and embrace change. Our journey doesn't end here. It's merely a transition to new beginnings. To end off, congratulations once again to the class of 2023. And so long, partner. Thank you.
Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations, class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem and ceremonial recession. <laughs>